Miss Plum. Hello. Miss Plum. Is this the world famous Miss Plum? It's me. Hello. That setter coming from Tulum. Yes, I'm in Playa del Carmen right now, actually. You're what? I'm in Playa del Carmen right now. Oh, where's that? Oh, like an hour away from Tulum. Oh. And yeah. how are you enjoying the mask-free life? Oh, I'm so happy I'm here. Best decision I ever made. So we need to talk about what I'm doing, like what's happening, like all the things, you know? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Please enlighten us. Um, I just, you know, I just like, I just had some epiphanies and I think all the things are going to happen that you said are going to happen. And I just did Cambo, which is like a frog medicine uh, kind of shaman type thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And it makes you puke and it like purges all the negative things out of your system and physically and mentally and spiritually. Uh -huh. um, so that was really cool. I did three sessions of Cambo. Oh, wow. uh, and so I feel like I purged a lot of things and got a lot of things out of my system. And then I'm going to do ayahuasca probably tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then the next week. So I think that's going to give me a lot of clarity. Um, but yeah, Elijah, we need to be documenting what's happening because at some point it's going to be important. So we haven't been documenting. <laughs> so these conversations are us keeping track of everything that's going on. So in the future, this, they'll, it, there's a record. <laughs> because when it really explodes, people are going to wonder, who are these people? How did they do it? And why were they so supposedly unknown? But they, they were doing... You, you don't know what is going to explode, like what exactly it's going to be. Yeah, I have some idea, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, particularly from your point of view. Uh, I know that that's a, a unique perspective. So, yeah, I've been... I, in Tulum since January 7th and it is now almost May um, I'm coming on like almost five months would it be five or four I guess four months um, and so um, I've ex I'm probably going to be signing a one-year lease here but I'm going to come back to Vancouver in about two and a half weeks I'm going to spend like two weeks in Vancouver and then I'm going to go to Europe and I'm going to spend the full summer in Europe I need to do some work there you know do some energy work in Europe. I haven't been there in a little while. And then the plan is to be back here in November and uh, live here for the year. Holy shoot. Yeah. So why do you like it so much there? It just feels like home. I don't know. It has everything like Tulum. I don't want to like, I don't want to expose the secret to all the masses, you know, so I don't really want to but it's got everything. I mean, a lot of people are starting to say Tulum is getting too mainstream now. So people don't like it as much as before, but it, it just has, you know, it's got the upscale crazy parties and, and food and nice places like expensive high-end places. But then it's also can, you can do it really cheap and it's got the hippies and the spiritual, you know, and then you can do ayahuasca and you can, it's got everything. It's got the beach and it's got amazing weather and it's just got everything that I want in one place. Oh. High-end parties, crazy amazing DJs, but also the spiritual aspect and amazing food and amazing people and just the energy is really potent for manifestation and synchronicity. It's a very high vibrational place. So yeah, and I wanna like buy property there, here. I wanna, I just wanna be here. Wow. I love it here. <laughs> so I'll be back. I'm coming back to Vancouver May 15th-ish. So I will be seeing you in about two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. And then I'll be taking off to Europe to do my Europe tour. 
yeah but um so, so yeah I, I think we need to be doing this on a more regular basis i've been having an issue with this crazy guy here and like we're not part like we're not like sexually anything but you know maybe he wishes a little bit but so maybe that's where all this frustration is coming from but he's just like becoming very angry at me and stupid it's kind of like oh i was gonna tell you remember pierre yeah pierre all the issues we had with pierre and he like stole our dog and like just did all this crazy weird shit yeah. he's like that he's like this like kind of nerd like loner very smart but like just nuts at the same time you know and then thinks that everybody should do what he says and then when they don't then he's gonna punish them it's just it's, it's nuts so I let him stay at my house for like five nights because he was like paying at a hotel and he doesn't have a lot of money and then he's just like instead of like you know appreciating it then he's like I don't know he thinks that I need to do all these things and I do need to do all these things but he can't like yell at people and expect them to just do everything at the drop of a hat so anyway so he says I have an ego a big ego I need to get rid of my ego I'm, I'm entitled I'm self-centered I'm selfish um so yeah and he's right about all these things <laughs> but i just don't i'm trying but then he, he then he gets all like egomaniac on me you know and anyways anyways so there's just like a lot of things going on that i haven't even talked to you about elijah right um but long story short i'll be back in vancouver soon i will probably be in tulum a lot more after this and but things are gonna happen, I feel like. Things are gonna happen and we need to be talking and recording more often. Things are gonna happen so, because I've been working my ass off and things are- Okay, okay, here we go. This is the, this is now is Elijah's turn to air his grievances and no, tell us about how it's that. not, he's not getting what he deserves and- I just wanted to make that little point. I just, this yeah. just a, different type of and how he's doing everything nobody else is doing anything i'm not saying that well i'm saying well maybe i mean i don't know i mean you're you're right we need to be i just have wanted a little bit more participation from you right yes and so i don't think i'm going overboard by maybe stating that or my own frustration that you haven't let's say put enough effort in okay right yes that's it. I'm not going to beat you in the head. I've done it a few times. I've done it enough. <laughs> and it, it gets me, uh, all it does is get me sad and depressed. So. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think? What do you, what's going on with you? Anything, <laughs> anything you want to tell me about? I, so I'm, basically I'm going to be doing ayahuasca, I think tomorrow. Was that and... a question? <laughs> you didn't even give me a second. Hand. Well, you didn't even have anything to say. So <laughs> there was no room to get in. Go ahead. Tell me about your ayahuasca. Well, I need to set an intention of what I want it to tell me, right? Right. So I have all these questions in my mind, but if you have any input of what else I should ask. Have you, have, have you, uh, you know, that's how I went into pipeline the first time, right? No, you said it was DMT and. Uh... No, 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 no. It was ayahuasca. Oh God, these stories keep changing, Elijah. I don't know. No, I've never changed that story. <laughs> I've never changed. That's just your faulty memory and interpretation. Okay, okay. So tell tell me, tell us about that. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm just stating that that's where it started. So maybe you could put the intention of, maybe you could go into Pipeland and see what Captain Sweep's talking about. Do I want to go there? It sounded like an awful place. It is. It is. You probably don't want to go there. And you're saying that's the future. No, I'm not saying it's a future. I'm just saying that it's another dimension that coexists with us right now that I have no idea what it is. Okay. Well, isn't I was going to answer all of the questions that we have. So like, what should I ask it? I mean, I already have some questions in my mind. Was there anything that you want me to ask? Well, you could maybe ask the usual question, like who did 9-11? Like that might be a good one. What? Who, who did 9-11? Oh, wow. I never thought about that. Okay. <laughs> what at first, go back up a bit. What happened with the frog? You went three, what, what realizations did you have? Well, the frog medicine is different because you don't hallucinate. You don't have like, um, 
you know, you don't hallucinate. Okay. It's, it's mainly like a purging physical, mental, spiritual purging. So you're just like getting everything out and it actually makes you feel just really strong after. And the first session I did about two hours after my session, because at first you feel really, really sick. You're like during the session is like an hour session and you just feel sick and you're puking. And then for an hour or so after two hours after you feel really sick and your stomach doesn't, but then afterwards I felt like inside my body was like, as if I was on some kind of drug. Um, and it felt like, like, I don't know, really good. It just felt like a really good feeling in, in my lymphatic system. Apparently it, it, um, what's the word? So it does something to your lymphatic system. It, it cleans your lymphatic, resets your lymphatic system or something. But yes, yeah, so, so I just felt everything underneath my skin. It felt like it was like on a drug, but really good. It just felt really amazing. And I do feel like it got a lot of bad things out of me. So you don't really have any kind of realizations really, but you're just purging negative ways. Okay. Thinking and being and physical, you know, where are you going? Where are you going? Do you want to meet my friend, Elijah? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Meet you. This is Jorge. Hey, Jorge. Hi. Nice to meet you. Where are like you from? <laughs> You're in New York now? Uh, yeah, I, I'm just back in. Three towers in the hours fire. In wow. Cool picture. He's in, in yeah, he's in New York. What the move? Move your flight in there. I'm in the year 2001. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. you. Come to Mexico. We are here in Tulum. At some point. Yeah. If you want, you have a house yeah. here. They don't want, but oh. it's for you. Oh, yeah. This is Jorge's house. I'm just visiting him right now. And, um, yeah, he said you can come over, Elijah. So just get your papers in order and figure it out. Holy shit. They might have that vaccine passport in place by the time I get going. Fuck that, man. Never doing that. I know. Okay, so you got to go. But uh, so let's, okay, so why do we agree to a weekly check in? Okay, weekly chat. And uh, we'll both make the effort. I won't just wait for you. Because usually I wait for you and it doesn't happen. So I, we'll, we'll both make the effort. Okay. So just um, send me good vibes for okay. my potentially my ayahuasca tomorrow night. I might not do it. I'm still kind of deciding. Okay. But, so that, that's all you think I should ask is uh, who did 9-11? No, no. You might. I mean, thing I I'll ask about you. I'll ask about you. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, another could be, you know, what blocks to be removed in order for my vision to take place. What blocks need to be removed? Okay. In order for your true potential to be actualized kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like purpose stuff, like my, my purpose. Yes. All right. Well, whatever. I'll figure it out. This is good. Um, yeah. And then I need to figure out how best to deal with this guy. That's like kind of like a Pierre archetype personality. Is that the guy? This is not him. This is a different guy. Okay. The other guy, his name is, I shouldn't even say it probably. Yeah. Okay. But it's crazy because he's very intuitive. So I think he's got something. Like, I think he's got these powers of like intuition and like psychic ability. And I think he knows things, but his approach is just really dictatorial and like authoritarian, you know? And I don't respond well to that. So, yeah. It turns very violent between the two of us. But he thinks that I, I'm the key to saving humanity. But he, and so he, he's really set on trying to help me fix my ego shit because he thinks it's like, it's, he needs to do it well, good for luck. the sake good of luck. everyone. Good luck with him. Okay, wait. Good Jorge's luck. leaving on the scooter. I should, I'm going to go too. Okay. But yeah, we need to talk more about that guy because I don't know how to best deal with him. Okay. Yeah, okay. maybe you can meet him. I want you to meet him. Okay. Okay, he's crazy like you, but like, not just, not, you're better. You're way better. He's very young. He's very young. Okay, yeah. No, let's, okay. let's try. Great okay. Day. Well, currently he's blocked on everything. So I, I don't know when I'm going to talk to him, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay, love you. And what are we deciding for a weekly chat? Weekly chat. 
When? When? Well, we usually aim at Fridays and never get it done, but uh, Thursdays today. Thursdays. We'll do it Thursdays. Okay. All right. Talk to you Thursday. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go. I want to go drop my. Car.